So guys, I just made this pizza from the same source. You can see how it looks. Oh, look at that yamishas. Oh, come on now. Come on now, guys. Look at that yamishas. It looks super cute and delicious. In case you wonder what I use, you can see the green beans, fresh tomato, I added a little kidney, cabbage, rosin coal, um, these sprouts, bell pepper, I have broccoli, and what else did I, I added to candy, you know, it's just an all veggie stuff. I love me some veggies, and then onions. I spiced it as I desired with two men that's thyme, you know, garlic, pepper, um, ginger, yeah, salt to taste, and just uh, as desired, you know. And tell me what you make of my vegetable pita. That's what it means when you want to go vegetarian you do that the right way you know yeah don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe like and share you're loved appreciated thank you so much leave me a comment in the comment section below i love to read them oh i forgot to tell you i added coconut in there not the milk you know but the the coconut shrimp and it just it tastes amazing oh goodness oh nauseous oh come on now come on now say the name again say the name it's pita vegetarish say the name pita vegetarish come on say the name it's pita Vegetari. You wanna say the name? Say the name. Thank you so much. Be blessed and you can call one love. You're beautifully and wonderfully made. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk about the preparation of this pizza, like the Germans would call it, or pizza as it's called in English. Now, you know, there are different types of pizza in different farms different combinations and everyone loves to prepare it exactly how they love it so what you are seeing here is the actual method of how i achieved my pita vegetalish like the germans would call it or veggies pizza you know pizza with vegetables with veggies like there are some people that are just on that side of veggies only. So you have sauteed, a sauteed vegetables here before you from broccoli to mushrooms and shrimp and carrots and, you know, everything that you can see here. The green coal, the, the, the zucchini, how is zucchini called in English? I've forgotten the name if you know the name yeah just just leave it below then the tomatoes you know different ranges of vegetables i love to use vegetables you won't believe that sometimes i even add cashew nuts to my cooking can you imagine that that's how <laughs> that's how i love these things and also nuts so and i use them well i do not hesitate to use anyone that um i find healthy also, Uberginia, I actually applied it also. I use it in the cooking and it always comes out beautiful, especially if you are a lover of veggies. So I had them all sliced out together and then I began to fry them with uh, what I would call little amount of vegetable oil. And um, you can see it, it turned out great. In case you're wondering, what is that brown substance? I added a little kidney into it. Um, the kidney was already boiled. And then I just fried a little part of it in here. You can see the green beans. Like I told you, I really, really love veggies. So you got everything like 
the 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 Nigerian Yoruba would say bogbo ti bogbo. Okay, don't just bite your tongue if you're wondering that was what that really means. It means all round veggies. <laughs> they are in those pots mixed together and ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Go go. So I had them all mixed. I took my time joyfully frying them out. I love to cook, you know, so it's part of my hobby. And who doesn't like good food? <laughs> so I always do it just exactly how we love it. The kids love it also. I got it all made. And then the pizza, I already bought it. So I buy it often during the weekend, during the weekend shopping, store it in the freezer and just get out when I need it, get one out and use. So I had my veggies all fried together. I had them sauced as I, as I desired. Um, the... With, with pepper, a little pepper, because my kids really don't like pepper so much. <laughs> so a little pepper in there, salt, namo, um, garlic was there. Um, what else did I add? I added ginger as well. So it came out beautiful and these are shredded coconut. It was just beautiful. As I mentioned my things earlier, but the method is simple. I find it simple. What do you think? You think it's simple? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. The method is simple. Just slice all. I, I didn't have a special time off. I add those vegetables and then a few minutes I add this. No, I just added them all together and had them fried as dessert. Just a little fried, you know, uh, to, to soften it up so that you don't just fry out all the ingredients, all the normal nutrients that you need. So I had it fried a little and our pizza, our pizza is ready you can see you can see that it looks all done and delicious i do this not so often just once a week you know especially saturdays or sundays you know but just once a week especially the weekend because i realized that after enjoying it as i desire the following week someone is having all this puffed up cheek you know and you know ladies we're all looking for that cheekbone that beautiful cheekbone so Seeing that puffed up cheek, mm -mm, I don't want to have it. So <laughs> I just say, okay, I think having it once a week, it's still beautiful. The kids love it. You know, hubby loves it. And I love it. I need not to see, you know, already. I love it. So tell me how you enjoy your pita. Is it just the normal, normal pita, the average pita? Or is it just the vegetable pita from a different angle? Or how do you love it? Or with just little vegetables, you know? Or the the, or the 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 sausage pita alone, you know, different. And how often do you make it? Does the kids like it? Thank you so much. I love you, my old subscribers, my new subscribers. You are amazing.